What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here with unboxing number three. Hope you guys enjoyed the first two. The Ahsoka Tano and Darth Maul on Mandalore. Luke Skywalker of the Galaxy Adventures. Today we have another vintage series figure that we're going to be unboxing. Classic figure, a very classic figure. Um, character has been around since the very first movie. Um, that everybody's loved and enjoyed I think and Pretty much anybody who's a Star Wars fan has probably quoted the uh, uh, very famous line that they've said. But without further ado, let's go ahead and bring him on in. The Jawa. And in this case, an off-world Jawa. As uh, Billy D. Williams said, off-world Jawas. Nice. And they are nice. Especially this figure. I'm going to give it to Hasbro for these uh, vintage collection figures. They're all they're all very very nice. As you can see the packaging is nice. Beautiful card. It's usually associated with the uh, vintage collection. Jaw was also in the same uh line as the Ahsoka Tano and the uh Darth Maul that uh, I unboxed in the first video. If you haven't already, go check that out. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Get them into the wild. I actually have two of these. Because you can't have one Jawa without the other. Especially when it comes to uh, my photography work, which you can find on Luke underscore photography walker on Instagram. If you want to check my, uh, my uh, Star Wars photography. These guys are going to definitely be showing up in some uh, photographs coming up. Let's go ahead and open it up. I really like keeping the cards. It's been not bent up as possible. They do such a fine job at them. I like to keep them. Everything was in there nice and snug. Good um, gluing around the uh, edges. I love the real fabric. Weapons are glue are um, taped in. I'm sorry. Looks like the egg is just kind of sitting in. We'll go ahead and look at that first. Very nice. Good details. Looks like it's got a little tiny blaster down bottom there. Let's emerge this off-world Jawa from his slumber. He's great. Little bandolier. Nice hood. He's even got a little ties on the back. Great robes. Great bandolier. Arms move, very articulate. Little legs move. Big difference between off-world Jawas and uh, standard Tatooine Jawas is the, the red eyes. I guess when they adapted to being off of Tatooine, the eyes changed colors. Nobody's really sure what a Jawa is underneath. There's a lot of speculation about their huge rats or de-evolved humans but can't really be sure. It's not really been uh, explained, which is just fine with me. Great little figure. I love the, uh, the cloth, the cloth robes. Everything. 
thing open here. The tape's holding everything in there nice and snug. How great are those? Our little ion blasters. And then I guess this one is the little pistol. Very nice, very nice hardware. Everything looks nice and straight. Not sure how they hold these, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Somewhere along those lines, I'm guessing. Mutiri! Great figure. He's going to be very photogenic. I have a, I have a very good feeling, especially with his counterpart, because you gotta have two Jawas. Let's go ahead and merge both of them. Obviously, they're both the. Uh, they're both the same. So the quality is going to be fairly similar. Very similar. I love the uh, towels on the back there. That's great. And there's the Jawas, ladies and gentlemen. Great figures, great packaging. Like usual. Everything looks good on these guys. If you're looking to buy Jawas, these are the ones to get. This is Luke. 